This video looks at the fourth numeracy process, analyze. Analyze questions involve assessing math solutions to see if they make sense within the situation. You might need to consider assumptions to see if they resulted in an unrealistic solution or identify possible improvements to an approach. These questions tend to look longer because we are analyzing the math solution within a situation. This question is as follows. You calculate April phone sales from the information your sales team members provided. Gabrielle reports 4,113 phones sold in the last year. You decide that the fair way to calculate Gabrielle's April phone sales is to divide this number by 12, giving her 342.75 or approximately 343 phones sold. Why might some of your sales team members disagree with your approach? Select all that apply. So in this question, you as the manager have to figure out if any of the choices might contain valid reasons for your sales team members to disagree with your approach. Why might sales team members disagree? I wonder if it could be because another approach makes it look like Gabrielle sold less. Let's consider each of the choices in order. First, Gabrielle could not have sold 343 phones in April. Remember, we got the number 343 based on the calculation we did in the question. We assumed Gabrielle sold the same number of phones each month. Also, you can't sell fractions of a phone, so it is possible Gabrielle sold 343 phones in April. So this is not a valid reason and I won't select this one. Second, Gabrielle likely did not sell the same number of phones each month throughout the year. In the question, we calculated a monthly average by dividing 4,113 by 12. This calculation is based on the assumption that Gabrielle sold the same number of phones each month. Disagreeing with this assumption is valid. Gabrielle could have sold fewer phones in April, so I'll select this one. Third, Gabrielle is the only sales team member whose April phone sales were calculated by averaging. Let's look at the sales report. It looks like Ainsley reported 598 phones sold in the last 60 days which is more than the number of days in April. Eight other sales team members also report some type of average. Since Gabrielle isn't the only salesperson who reported an average, this reason is not valid, and I won't select this one. Fourth, Gabrielle's phone sales could be calculated by dividing 4,113 by 365 days, and then multiplying by 30 days. Dividing by 365 days assumes Gabrielle sold the same number of phones each day. This approach results in an estimated 338 phones sold in April by Gabrielle, which is fewer phones than I calculated. I see why some sales team members would want to use this approach. This is a valid assumption, so I will select this one too. Okay, so we've considered all the choices, and it looks like two choices provide valid reasons to disagree. I'll select those. And that's an example of an analyze question. For this question, we had to identify other valid approaches. Thanks for watching.